First of all, let me apologize for not being able to attend the event in person, um, but I was asked to provide a quick overview of blogging and how that can be used to engage students in the classroom uh, and beyond the classroom, so I wanted to provide a, a quick little video for you about that. So to start off, um, the first thing you want to know is there are a number of different platforms out there and there are a variety of reasons why you might want to choose one over the other. Three of the most common ones are Blogger, which is owned by Google, so it's integrated as part of your Google account. Uh, WordPress, which is probably the most popular one, uh, it's also the one that probably has the uh, the most power in terms of what it can do for you. And then there's EduBlogs, which is actually run on the WordPress platform, but it's specifically for those involved in education, both in the K-12 environment and in higher ed. So um, that one tends to be a good one to use specifically for classroom use. In terms of how you can go about using it, there's a variety of ways in which you can do that. The first is it can actually just be used as an announcement function, much like your learning management system can. So here's an example of a weekly announcement that might be posted to a blog so that students could use and get that information. You can use it to provide a series of annotated links. Um, you could also use it to provide a list of materials or a list of, of um, items that your students could use. Uh, you can use it as a way to try to spark discussion. And as you'd use it for a discussion item, there's a couple of different formats that you could look at. Um, you could use your blog to post a discussion question. And as a part of that discussion question, you could actually get the students to have their own blogs and they would respond to your discussion question on their own blog. So as you can see from this entry, all of these are different blogs that the students in this particular class had and they are responding to the question that the instructor asked. Another way of doing this would be to post a discussion question and then to have the students actually respond in the comments section of that instructor's blog. So you can see here, here are the first three students that are responding of the 21 in the class to that instructor's blog. A third model that you can use is you could have a single class blog that each of the students contribute to. So as you can see here, um, you see here in the middle of the page, here are all of the students that are in the class and you can see the various entries. So here's one entry, here's a part of the rest of that entry, here's a second entry, and over here is a third entry. And these are the students that are posting these individual entries to a class blog. So there's a single blog that all 21 students contribute to as opposed to the other two models where either there was one class blog that all of the students commented on or there was one class blog and each of the students had their own individual blogs and there's a variety of reasons why you want to use one model over the other. Uh, beyond using it as a discussion you can use it as a way to provide commentary on things that are going on that are relevant to your class uh, you can also, instead of just using it as a text-based medium, you can use it to provide visual references for your students or audio references for your students or video references for your students. And obviously any of these, you could engage them in terms of having it as a list entry or a links entry or discussion entry or a commentary entry that includes these kinds of media items. Finally, you could actually use it as a way to poll your students or to have it set up in such a way where you are providing, say, multiple choice questions or some kind of formative assessment that you could do with the students as a part of their blogging engagement. So this is just a quick entry and so if you have any additional questions or would like to follow up on any of these ideas please feel free to email me as well I'll note the link at the bottom there is my own blog so feel free to check that out as well.